Happy New Year! <laughs> I'm Caroline and this is The Slice. Welcome, it's 2018. Time for new calendars, new resolutions, and best of all, a new tennis season. This week, Jeannie Bouchard and Bashik Pospisil are in Perth, Australia, representing Canada at the Hotman Cup. That's an international friendly team event that the pair actually last played together in 2015. Now while they didn't make it out of the round robin, they did record a pretty epic win over the Americans, defeating Serena Williams and John Isner in singles. Also down under is Milos Ranic. He's on the list to play in Brisbane, a tournament which he won in 2016. Now he's looking to tune up ahead of the Aussie Open and best last year's results where he reached the quarterfinals. Fun fact, the Australian Open is where Milos has his highest winning percentage at a Grand Slam at 77%, followed very closely by, you guessed it, Wimbledon. Denis Shapovalov is on the list for Brisbane, as well as Auckland. Now he's putting in a lot of on-court practice ahead of his third career Grand Slam in Melbourne. There will be lots of Canadians to cheer for, with Jeannie joining Milos and Dennis in the main draw, but there's also some Canadians to pay attention to coming through qualifying. Vashik Pospisil, Peter Plansky, Philip Pelwo, Braden Schnur are all looking to get in on the men's side. For the ladies, it'll be Francois Zabanda, Bianca Andrescu, and Carol Zhao looking for a spot. As the sun sets on the career of one of Canada's most decorated tennis legends, we're excited to watch the swan song of Daniel Nestor. Rumor has it 2018 is slated to be his final season, but if you're having trouble coming to terms with one of the greats hanging up his rackets, you're not alone. The guys over at Tennis School caught up with Daniel Nestor and tried to convince him otherwise about retirement. Check out the full video on Twitter and see for yourself if the guys managed to convince Daniel to stay in the game. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Caroline, it's been a slice. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Mm. Now let's try one of them. <laughs> Happy New Year! I was just gonna say. <laughs>